Hi guys, once again welcome to our channel 2 minutes technology, a place where you learn excel easily and conveniently. So today I'm again going to talk about uh, cleaning and bringing uniformity in data maths for that and uh, as um, in my previous uh, lesson I mentioned that it is very frustrating when we get very badly formatted data and that is one of the example you can see this data set which is seriously very badly formatted and we would like to clean it some of the ways to clean the data i have already mentioned you can click on the upper link to just go and check out some of the functions to clean data in this video i'm going to talk about how do we use format painter to clean and bring uniformity in data okay so you can see there is so many issues with this sheet right so let's start one by one our serial number right they have to be middle aligned so if i just do it for once and then i can use format painter and i can just paste my formatting to the rest of the cells and it makes the same formatting to other cells as well so what we are going to do we will try to correct the formatting for two cells so if i would like to bring my employee code as uh, center aligned and i'll i'll just take care of so i would like to have this grouping here and not this one so i'll take and i'll make it here and then this cell is okay so i can just hit format painter and i can quickly paste it so it copies the formatting there okay so date of joining i uh, let's say i would like to make it this and similarly i would like to have this formatting here and in fact i would like to have the same formatting for all so you can see there are some different text and then there's some right alignment left alignment the date formatting is not taken so it would take now date formatting for all of them and it has center aligned for employee name again employee names you can see some different text then you have grouping formatting so let me just so i think this is okay so i can just copy paste in all my sales so this has gone correct i have the same text column here so i can just do the format painting on the entire column f and this is done and column e is also the same so i can do the i could have in fact in the i could have done it to the country as well because i can that is also text format great while you do format painter you also resize the column width so you need to take care of it you need to resize it once again and because this one was i would like to keep it middle line and then now see these numbers we can we, we can take the number formatting from here and we can use it in these two and obviously the width put and the other one did not have comma so i would like to have comma as well so normally what happens a format painter normally copy the formatting of a cell and it gives to the other cell but he had to be very categorical right now it has date formatting so if you bring it here it will convert into a date so you won't like to do it okay if this is a number format if you put it here it will convert to numbers you need to take care which formatting would you like to copy and copy where so you can see right now on this you have a grouping clear grouping whereas you want to have a direct dotted grouping so that you can take it you can see it has dotted grid here so i can just copy it here and i can use it here and the grading 
I, I'll do it for this as well and ideally it should go off right so this is how you do format painter hope you enjoy the video please let me know if you feel like in the comment section please like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much have a good day